Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how I organized the last in the series of the last hundred yards, the Solomon Island, Volume 3. And again, I like to organize all my games. I use a 3D printer and uh, make up trays so that everything fits back into the box neatly. So let's open this up and see how it's done. Okay, so last one in the series, I did very much the same as the other two. I wanted to make sure that everything fit in the box, and each one has a unique amount. Uh, this particular one I did not color code as well as I did the other two. I think I was lazy at the time when I first did it. But the first one has uh, all of your game pieces and your dice. And of course, these can come out and make a dice rolling tray here for you to use. And during, uh, during production, when you first make them, make things, sometimes you make them a little bit tighter. I've made everything so that it all fits correctly in all of these slots. And you can see that I added a little space for the die here. Open up this one. We have the Americans. All of the uh, part counters have little tabs on them so that when you pull them out, it makes it easy to pull them out of the tray. I also included uh, slots. Well, I'll show you that in a second here when I get this lid off. And this is the Imperial Japanese Army. And again, they're in red. Got the trays. All the trays fit in here nice and neat. And I also have a slot here for the oversized initiative. So if you want to check out how you can get the STL files to print your own, it's available on the nerdworkshop.com and uh, there's a link below to that. I do charge uh, $5 for each set, but uh, that's just mainly to keep the site open and make a place where I can store them all. So if you enjoy this, please do like and subscribe to the channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks for watching this one.